So you're in the market to buy a nice handsaw. So you basically have two main options. You can either go to a big box store, Home Depot, Lowe's, Osh, whatever, and get yourself a handsaw for about, I don't know, between $10 and $20. This saw that I'm showing right here is about 12 bucks. And then on the other hand, you can go on the higher end of things and go to a strictly woodworking store or an online store and get yourself a you know better quality saw. So really quickly, before we get into the video, i just like to say, I myself try to buy the best quality things that I can. And you know, sometimes that means that I spend a little bit of extra money on things that I really want and sometimes I actually need. That you know, there are some people out there who you know, don't need that. Like this saw right here is a perfectly good saw for your average person. I've, I've used this plenty of times. It works, it's great, you can cut miters with it, you can use a miter box it gets the job done. So what this video is going to be is basically a comparison between the two. So I obviously am going to express my opinions, but you have the right to your own. I'm trying to be as unbiased as I can and see all sides of, because there are a lot of people who are in different situations. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. So the first saw that we have here is a brand Husky. You can get this at Home Depot, I believe. I think that's where I bought it. And it has a maple handle, hardback saw. And then the second, oh yeah, this saw I think was $12 when I bought it. And then this saw right here is a Veritas dovetail saw that I got for around 60 bucks. And this isn't the best quality saw that you can buy, but it is a very good quality for you know, an avid woodworker. And this is a rip configuration on the teeth, and it's 14 teeth per inch. It says it right here. You probably can't see that, but it says it right there. That was engraved in. You know, this part is a powder coat, I believe. I think this is a rosewood handle, too. The teeth are a little bit more sharp than this one, and I know I also have to keep in mind that I've used this one a little bit more but the teeth on this one weren't very sharp to begin with and I can tell these are much sharper. So that's kind of a little bit of background on each of these saws. Now what I'm going to do is do a couple of tests and that way you can see for yourself how both of these saws act. I would, if I, if I could, I'd get this in a rip pattern but I don't believe that these saws come in a rip pattern because I don't think a, because basically for any homeowner who's cutting boards or trying to cut stuff down like baseboards or trim work or even studs in a the wall, they're normally doing cross cutting. So that I think is why they don't sell this in a rip pattern. So I guess keep that in mind while we're doing all the cuts. So for this, we're just gonna do a couple of test cuts with each saw. So here we have two pieces of relatively straight grain wood and each of these are pretty much the same length and they have the right grain pattern or they have the same grain pattern between the two. These are just pieces out of a 2x4 and that is what we're going to use for the test. And just so we don't get confused between the two, I'm going to put an H on this one for Husky and V on this one for Veritas. So the only thing that I'm going to do is just strike a line across. I'm not gonna use a knife wall or anything fancy like that. So just put the square up like this. Strike a line and that is what we're going to reference off of. This part right here is where I had to flip the board over and cut from the other side because it bottomed out on here and I didn't want to run into the bench so I flipped it over. You can see I stayed just away from the line just a little bit right along there and right towards the end I like to lighten up just a little bit so it doesn't tear out. I think I actually consider myself pretty handy with the, the handsaw here. I've used it plenty of times and 
I think I can get a pretty good cut freehand. So now we'll go ahead and do the same exact test with that piece with this saw. So this saw isn't technically meant for cross cutting. So that's just something to keep in mind with this. To have a little bit of a rougher time trying to start the cut and exiting the cut because this is a rip pattern and those teeth immediately started trying to dig in and I kind of had to lighten up a little bit right before I started getting into the curve a little bit. Whereas this saw, it just started right away. For this test, what I'm going to do is take 10 strokes with each saw. I'm going to try to make this as accurate as possible. You know, the same pressure, same length of the stroke. I am hewing, so this isn't the most accurate thing, but I think it would be kind of fun. And I am keeping my thumb on this side just so it doesn't jump out. And it went down about 3 eighths of an inch. You can see when the saw is in. That's how far down it went. You know, you still have plenty of the saw to, you know, go in and cut. But that was about 3 eighths of an inch. So now we'll take this off. Try and do it with one hand. Oh, there. Put in the Veritas one. Cool. So now we're going to do the same exact thing with the Veritas saw. So that is the difference between the two right there. You can see that this one went down about just under three quarters of an inch. This is a three quarter inch chisel. So you can also tell that the kerf in this one is slightly thinner so you're having to take out more material with the husky one. This is a cross cut saw so it had a little bit more of a set in it. This one because it's a rip pattern it is only taking out just a little bit. I can barely fit my, th my fingernail in there. So this Veritas saw was a 14 TPI dovetail saw. This is technically meant for dovetails. And this Husky saw is a all around, you know, DIY weekend warrior hand saw. That's really the difference between the two. Both of them are actually really good saws. This one is just meant for a little bit different scenario. This one is more for a higher end woodworker. So because the Husky saw has a cross cut um, set teeth, that kind of gives the difference between the two. You know, the Veritas saw is a rip pattern. You know, I did a rip cut and a cross cut, so you can tell the difference between the two. I hope this test could kind of give you a little bit of insight if you're on the edge of buying a handsaw. So the cross cuts were right there, and you know, you had the rip cut right there. And those are really the main tests that you want to test. That doesn't make sense. Those are really the main two tests that just to get the baseline between the two. So you know, both of them have their advantages and both have their disadvantages. And that's really for you to decide what you want to do. I did those tests just because it was a little bit fun. Just because I thought it would be something a little bit different and fun to do. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please go give it a big thumbs up right down below. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And leave a comment down in the comment section if you have something to say or you got some feedback for me or anything like that. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, <laughs>